And uh, welcome back. Tom Harmon here with you. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Well, these hearings have been incredible. I, I really feel for the police officers who had to deal with that crowd in Washington, D.C. But I'm also concerned about uh, movements across the country to fund police departments and hire a lot more cops, because I don't think that's going to solve all our social problems. I'm concerned about Joe Biden yesterday calling for, you know, he basically was saying the opposite of what the Black Lives Matter movement was saying, which is, you know, we had two years of protests and massive tear gas in Seattle about that. But he was saying, you know, we don't need to defund the police. We need to fund them. And of course, we all need a police department. But I'm concerned that, you know, just hiring a bunch of police across the country is not going to solve our problems without the reforms that were necessary. The reforms in Minneapolis that were necessary after the killing of George Floyd never really happened. The, the city council has been blocked there on a lot of that. Here in Seattle, our mayor, our new mayor, Bruce Harrell, is calling for more police. At the same time, he's sweeping up uh, homeless encampments all across the city and not providing housing for people. I'm worried um, that without the necessary reforms, we are just going to have more problems. In Seattle, we also had two major wrongful death lawsuits within the last year, one for the police killing of Charlena Lyles in her own home after she called the police uh, for a burglary, and then also Manny Ellis down there in Tacoma, two police officers were charged with second degree murder. So just hiring lots of police is not going to solve our social problems. We have an economic, a devastatingly economic uh, sort of war against the poor going on in this country. And there's so many people that are suffering. The middle class is disappearing because I, of all the- I, I get it, Mark, and I, I completely agree with you. And that war on the poor was uh, you know, declared by Ronald Reagan and then doubled down on by, by pretty much every president since him. Um, with the exception, I would say, of Joe Biden, I think he's, he's trying to pull back from that. Although, you know, but the and police reforms are absolutely necessary. But I can tell you, um, any mayor or any other municipality or governor, for that matter, who does not run on on uh, stopping crime, on getting homeless people off the streets, whatever technique they're going to use is not going to get elected. And any politician who does run on those things, even if they're running on basically a neo-Nazi fascist version of those things, probably will get elected. And that's the great danger of this moment because people are over it. Um, you know, I, I, you know, just just look at the uh, uh, neighbor.com or nextdoorneighbor.com. I mean, you know, people are people are flipped out all over the country. Uh, Mark Taylor Canfield. We'll we'll uh, continue our conversation. On the other side of this break, it's 27 minutes past the hour. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. It's Anything Goes Friday, although I'm particularly curious about your thoughts uh, on what you saw last night. I'll give you my media critique after the break.